Yeah, welcome back to the Pulse here on Joy News. Uh, you know you can also watch us live on DSTV channel 431 and also on Go TV as well. Uh, like, before we went on the break, I, I've been having some fun in the studios because we're talking Ghana music. And we'll be, we're going to look at the Ghana music industry. Has it been a good year, uh, 2017, for Ghana music industry? You've heard a lot of songs, trending and all that. But we'll be taking a look at some of them. Uh, we'll be taking your top five, your top ten here. But to have this discussion with me, we'll be getting some musicians also on the phone lines, but I have with me in the studios uh, this afternoon, uh, Daddy Ahuma Bosco, and he's in charge of communications for Musica, and he joins me in the studio. Like I said, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I miss our too. days in Akosombo. I'm sure everybody will be wondering, what, yeah. what did we do in Akosombo? <laughs> yeah, but we'll tell them later on. Sure. But Daddy Bosco, before we, we start the discussion, I'm sure there's one song that's trending that we all want to hear. Let's hear one from Ebony, okay. and we'll come back to have that discussion about Ghana music. Ghana music. I've been hustling in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Best in caution, let's be kind of you. Intimation, shy, women, never see a media, never mean to me. One, oh, you got me, baby, and one, oh. Of course, we'll bring you more uh, later on. Uh, you need to stay with us because there, there'll be more music here on the pulse uh, today. Um, so, that was go. Let's see, Dimija. Yeah, and um, this is one of the songs that my wife tells me is, is doing well in the market. And my okay. wife's a trader. Okay. And she says, anytime this song is played in the market, all the market women go gaga. Wow. Because this is a song which is talking about their work mm. coming by from me. Yeah. But some say it's not talking about, you know, really selling, but it's talking about some other thing. Oh, it's people trying to um, impute meanings to the lyrics. Okay. I see art, um, when you do art, you leave the interpretation to... Um, the viewer okay. or the audience and so they they decide how they think the song should go but from the video you saw you realize that she was talking about marketing men and you know mm. like I told you my wife she's always excited about this song mm. it talks about coming by coming by coming by, by. You know it, it gets mean? people yeah. buying uh -huh, as well you know? oh interest because everywhere you pass you hear people playing the song yeah. uh, Dimidra, Dimidra, and all that creativity wise you have been in this industry for quite a long time. When it, when it comes to creativity of this particular song, what will be your description of it? Actually, um, what I'll say is Ebony and his team have found the nectar. Mm. Just like Shatawali found the nectar of life. Okay. You see, music is, is, is based on a formula or is based on connecting with the audience. And so once you're able to hit the the hot buttons, 
to go with you. Mm -hmm. And that's what she's done. And I think for the next year or two, she'll be trending. She'll be trending. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll be talking about individuals, so because you can't have you and not talk about everything music, because when it comes to music, you know everything. But let's talk about the Ghana music industry yeah. as a whole for 2017. What will be your assessment of the industry for this year? And a few things have happened that have um, given hope to industry players. One, one such thing is the work done by Xylophone Media. Mm. You see, um, music is talent and capital. If you have talent alone and you don't have the management to push you where you should go, your talent could go follow. Mm. So um, um, the entry of um, Xylophone Media into the business is significant. And for some of us, the industry watchers will believe that that is what will encourage other investors to come on board because that's what the industry in Ghana needs. The difference between the music business in Ghana and the music business in Nigeria and elsewhere is capital injection. Okay. You know, so for some of us seeing um, business people coming in and sinking their funds into the business is something that calls for celebration. Mm. You know, and we want to see more of those because um, we want to believe there there are even bigger players who can come into the business and want to believe that what Xylophone has done will pave the way for a lot more yeah, people to come, to come in here. But is, it, is music that attractive? Is it that lucrative? Ghana music, for instance. Because some have said that it looks like Ghana music is no longer attractive. Uh, the industry, I should say, is not that attractive anymore until Xylophone entered uh, the scene. Do you think that Ghana music oh, is, you is, is see, that attractive? Um, for people who've been watching the music business for a while, there, there, there's been disruptions okay. and um, if you do not monitor these or stay ahead of the curve you'll have problems so for people who remember the days of vinyl and, and, and cassette mm -hmm. you know so in those days w when, when you have your song you get somebody who will buy the rights and that's money for you the industry has changed and now people are doing a lot of digital sales they're doing a lot of endorsements and other revenue streams. And so if it's on the increase as well. Yeah, but you see, um, so that's why I'm saying that the dynamics of the industry have changed. Okay. So somebody can do a video, yeah, Paris is working, but he can get X number of YouTube views and that's monetization right there. Yeah. Um, a brand would come up and then a corporate entity would realize that this guy is, is addressing my audience, why don't we marry? So those are the alternative sources of revenues that are coming in. And if you're an artist or you're managing an artist and you're fixated on the, the other or the previous revenue streams, mm. you realize that you're, you're out on, on, on your limb and you can't seem to make any headway. But if you're on top of your game and you realize that revenue or revenue streams in this business are changing, so we're no more selling CDs, we're no more selling cassettes. How do we monetize? Okay. You know, so um, this is my following on social media. Which brand wants that kind of um, audience? You know, so what's happening now is the business of music is moving from just talent to who is behind you. Mm. You know, you what kind of think tank do you have media. behind okay. you to ensure that you're leveraging your brand? Yeah. Mm. Interesting, but some have also said that. With the kind of music that we are producing now, mm -hmm. this year, for instance, we should just look at this year. Is it music that can stand the test of time? Uh, four years, five years to come, would I still be dancing to Mundi Mio, Mundi Mija? Would I still be dancing to Shata, Wali, Freedom? Three songs, three uh, you know, words in a, in a whole song <laughs> that is a banger. Will I dance to it five years to come? You know something? Will it stand the test of time? No, you see, you can't eat your cake and have it. Mm. So artists are deciding, am I going to do fast food music which will put bread on my table and ensure um, my security in the future? Yeah. So if they decide to do fast food music that is trending and they can monetize it and put some money in the bank, that's what money matters to them. Mm. Uh, because um, some of the young guys say, look, I don't want to die a pauper. Yeah. I don't, wanna, wants I don't to want to die like, I don't want to call names. The dudes who've got big everlasting songs, but nothing to show. Mm. 
So the kids are like, Charlie, what can I do right now that I can get an MTN or a Casa Prec or even multimedia to sign me as their brand ambassador? Yeah. And then that puts, at least that puts a certain amount of money in my, in my bank that guarantees my livelihood till I die. You know what I mean? So it's a choice the kids are making. And if you watch, let me use a guy like Shatawali. So he's done a lot of fast food music. But he has Ayo. And Ayo is a song that's going to last. Because any other person hears that song, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? And then he's got this other one about, uh, you know, he has a song with three kids. And that song is also big. Mm -hmm. That's not like one of his fast food songs. So what I'm saying is these kids are doing fast food music. But they're also doing music that will stand um, the test of time. Hmm. And it's a decision they're making. It's a conscious decision they're making. You're sure Look, it's a conscious decision? Of course. Because um, Stoneboy will tell you that, look, I'm doing a song and I know this song is targeted at this segment of my audience. Okay. And then this song is targeted at that segment of my... And, and you see, that's another interesting thing with, with the artists of these days. Um, it seems they are a bit more knowledgeable. They know about market segmentation. Yeah, yeah. They know about targeting and positioning. And they're displaying it in their work. But yeah. it looks like music uh, should be worried about that because if there are more fast food music that are being produced, you should be worried. But we'll come to that. Maybe let's take over uh, with Shatawale. Ah, that's a yeah. song. <laughs> 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 What them I say? Me I no one talk anything. Money they come before my brain. Young man can't take it all day. Now say I'm so kungani. This time me I go the party. I decide kungani. We taking over, we the sugar. We taking over, we the gold. We taking over, we the sugar. We taking over, we the gold. See me, I tell you, see, Kaji Konya, go be, Kato man can be kaidwadi, what be your problem, a blanket, Kaptaiba, Sani, Wally Ronnie, Lady Kashani, Becky, Bonfi, who know be fair, I tell you, Kajai, shut up. Hey, Sergeant Lee, who does you, Jati, no, a bag, a comfortable lead. So uh, we are taking over uh, the show Ghana. Yeah, that, you should see that he was going in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves the song. But what, what exactly was he saying? Yeah, we're, uh, taking we're taking over and we sh we're going to show Ghana. Ghana. What are we showing Ghana? Um, that is a new, is a new day, is a new trend, and you know things like that. You know, it, it, it's a song about like appellations and you know. Okay, but let, let me just hold you there. Uh, we have another uh, fastest growing sensation in Ghana. We're on 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 the phone line. Uh, Kwame Eugene. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about yeah. him. Now his song is playing it at every wedding you attend. Uh, it's Kwame Yujin or, or no other. Uh, Kwame Yujin, good afternoon. Afternoon, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you doing too, Kwame Yujin? I'm good. I'm dancing proud. I'm speaking to you right now. So yeah. how, how do you feel when you hear your songs playing? Uh, you know, Angela. Angela, you know. yeah. No, I know how it feels. <laughs> it's, 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 it's wonderful. It's a very pleasant feeling. Mm. It's just it's just awesome to see people sing your song from from the beginning to the end like that. And I just give glory to God because I've been working and he made my 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 work um uh, he made something prominent out of my work too. Mm. It's a blessing, I give glory to God. <laughs> well, we, as we're giving glory to God, uh, one would is forced to ask, Kwame, are you monetizing your work? Are you looking at the future? Uh, of your song and where are you hoping that it will be? Of, of course, I've, I've, I've been monetizing because 
it is one of um, every good musician's priority. Mm. It should be, you should, you should focus on the future and work forward to it. So I've, I've given myself like three years. I said um, I, I will take new artists of the year, the first year when I enter the game. And I'm working on that. And I'm hoping God for few and Ghanaians accept me as Eugene as I am right now. So I have dreams, I have aspirations, I'm working towards them. And by the grace of God, it is working. So I'm still pushing. I mean, I really want to take Ghana all over Africa and the rest of the world. That's, that's one reason why I'm working. I, I just want to be the next Daddy Lumba for green tea. And, yeah. and even if, if God permits me, I do more. So I just need the support of Ghana. I have aspirations. Yeah. Mm, but it's such high ambitions. It, it comes with hard work. You know that, right? I know that I'll be working hard. Mm. So, yeah. so for Ghana Music Award, how many awards are you hoping to be able to grab coming region? Um, I'm, I'm hoping for Song of the Year because mm -hmm. you can tell I, I wrote Nigi Gavi, a beautiful piece. I wrote Beckham Nenewa, a beautiful piece. And you can tell for my song, Angela is a beautiful piece. So if I win Songwriter of the Year, I think I've tried. And, and New Artist of the Year, because I've been working hard towards that too. New Vocalist of the Year. And, and I think, yes, these two, if I, if I get them, I'll be very support. Yeah. So I'm told apart from just singing, you write, you just, you just mentioned, you've written a number of songs. I hear you do your own beats as well, some of your beats as well, is, is that yes, true? Please, yes, you I do? Own, but I didn't, say, I, I didn't put it under that anyway, sorry. Okay. Um, um, two beats at that um, time, two beats, two beats, two beats. So, so you're good at doing beats as well. Uh, which ones have you done? Um, I produce David, as you see me, I didn't come David. Mm. I produce that. I produce the put the song fun we want. Okay. Um, I produce zoom bang bang zoom bang bang. And these are all mm. bangers, and that's what you yeah. do. You do best. Yeah, yeah. I produce I didn't see with Chatawali. Okay. So I'm done a couple of songs. Yeah. I'm tempted to ask at this point because I've, I've heard people like Baba Tando uh, here at Multimedia. Anytime he hears Kwame Yujin, it's, you know, she's all over the place. Are, are girls worrying you, Kwame? Um, I think I wouldn't say girls are worrying me. It, it is some people, I love people who accept uh, things that are appreciable. Hmm. If it needs to be appreciated, appreciate it. Scream to it, accept it. So I can't say girls worry me. You don't worry. You. So you are enjoying you are you are enjoying the admiration, Kwame. It is actually beautiful coming from beautiful girls. I mean, you know, Ghanaian girls are fun. Okay. So getting a Ghanaian girl to scream your name, ah, Kwame, you just you <laughs> like a <they're> YouTuber. <laughs> oh wow! So how has it been this festive season? Comparing your Christmas this year to your Christmas last year, how busy have you been? It's been a blessing, my sister. It's been everything because um, um, I can't say certain things on air right now. Mm. Certain things are classified. But, but I've, uh, my life has changed this year. Okay. Let, me, let me just say, Joe, I say a big thank you Money wise, money wise, money or how wise, has it changed? Transportation wise. Okay. I, used, I used to walk from, I used to walk from Padama to Achimota. Oh. Just to go um, and, and when Richie was about time, I have to walk from um, 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 at, uh, Fadama to Achimata, and I can't explain to him that I don't have money for transportation mm. and stuff like that, and I hate disturbing my parents. Like, yeah, I moved from my parents when I was just 18, because I needed a life for myself. You get it? And I hate disturbing my parents. So going off and on and stuff like that was very difficult, but now everything is so cool, that I tell it. My bank account, my program, and, and all as well. Okay. So I just give glory to God. This, this has actually been my best Christmas. And I say thank you to Ghanaian for holding me down. I, I can tell God. you there are better Christmases ahead uh, for you. Uh, uh, once, when, God bless. <laughs> once, once God bless you continue you. the way you're you. going. You. But you. for next year, quickly before I let you off, I understand you're at a program. But which collabo are you hoping uh, to enter into? Which musician are you looking forward um, to, to collaborate okay, with? Speaking, I'm a different person altogether. Like, yeah, you, you can tell, and you shouldn't blame me. That, that's how it's brought up. I, 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 I don't like collabos. Okay. Yeah, so you can tell everybody's doing a feature, but I barely do features. 
The only person I featured all the way is Nizi, because she's in the same label with me. Okay. But you're on the same label with Kiddy as well, so... Come again? You're on the same label with Kiddy as well, and... Yeah, yeah, but I don't really have a song with Kiddy. Mm. People are being featured, but I'm not being featured. Mm. And and I don't think... It's, it's not because um, um, I'm all-knowing or something. Okay. But it's because most of my, my, my work, eh, mm-hmm. I do them at 3 o'clock in a dawn when everybody's asleep. Okay. And, and I, I have a feeling I write my songs in. I should be in a mood to write a song. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when I do a feature, the person I feature on sense of the mood in the song. I was thinking if I had had someone else on Angela, I wouldn't have get that feeling where I perform Angela and people people kneel down and, and, and bow down and, and raise their hands like they are, they are singing to a worship song. Mm-hmm. You get it. Okay. Maybe a rap or something would have changed everything. Mm. You get it. It would be nice. It would be groovy. Okay. But you you still get that feeling people listen to Angela and cry. Oh. You get it. <laughs> I have some mood I write myself. So I think when I need a rapper on my song and I need a singer, someone very valuable, and I don't I don't just think about the fact that the person who gives the song to me, you no, know, because I'm all about good music. Okay. So I need someone who who juice the song up, who add another another passion, another story, another feeling to the song, not just someone who makes the song big. I believe when the song can touch people like that, it can automatically be big, and that's the secret for Angela. So it's not like I don't like fiction, okay. but I, 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 I believe in working. So when I work and it deserves to be featured, I, I, I need to be featured, I'll call someone. But, but, but a little bird whispered to me that you are in one with uh, Shatawale and uh, Kiddy. Is that not true? You, yeah, actually yeah, we're 80% completed. We're actually done. We are just waiting for the right time to use the song. Okay. A very beautiful piece. Yeah. You give me a, a, a line of it. You're able to just do one line. I, okay, yeah. it goes like, Baby, oh, baby, oh, this car has no fee handle. Baby, oh, baby, oh, this car has no fee handle. And my part. Then I won't make you to come close to me like the father and the doctor. But great seduction, bad money, I feel far. Take them down in a public color that cost you I'm in the mansion of such a boom. Oh no, one man's meat is another man's poison. You they kill me, girl, go slow. Why in a world you be one time, girl? You they say come well, then I go, go. Why you they do me so, so? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it looks like, uh, Kwame Eugene, I can, I can say without a doubt that you'll be around for a very long time. But I'm watching Angela in the studio. What is it with you and Ahon Fepatri? Is it just a video or there's more going on? I, you just said you have her in the studio. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, I don't. You, you wish I did, right? Yes. Yeah, so... Oh, what, what is going on with you and Ahon Fepatri? Okay, so she's so cool. Uh-huh. And Ahon Fepatri is, is, is so cool to be with. Like... She's calm. And when we called her for the video, like, what's Eugene for the video? She said, oh, it's cool. Eugene's video, right? Uh-huh. I'm waiting to meet that guy already. Oh. So we met and we became best of friends. Not like we have something to do. So you're I mean, not dating? Really you're, you're, not, you're not but, dating or anything? But no, 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 no. So who maybe, are you dating? So, so who are you dating? That Sally, we'll be like that. Who are you dating, Kwame Eugene? I'm not dating. I'm single, though. Oh, how? I'm, I'm so single, but yeah. Uh, um, um, that, with, that with all these ladies like, admiring you, you are still single, or you are just you are just you know stiffing them. You are looking through. I'm I'm I'm, I'm still looking through because too many <laughs> fine Ghanaian girls. That is a problem. Okay, so uh, <laughs> just before finally, let me get, pick your quick thoughts on the Ghana music industry. Your assessment for 2017. What kind of mm-hmm. music industry do you, do you think we have as a country? Uh, your assessment for 2017. Thank okay. you. Previously, the industry was 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 cool, but not as safe in as as it is right now. Cause mm-hmm. you can you can see the lives of myself, Kel songs, um, um, guys are really doing well, and and Sakodia, Sakodia is everything. Shatawali, oh my God, Stoneboy, these three people, mm-hmm. you get it. Okay. They they paved the way. We are really learning to follow more because it, it's a very good way to think. And it's really helping us to jump into the other market as well. Because okay. now you can hear Angela being played in mm-hmm. Nigeria. Nigerians come around and they go like Charlie. Now, dear, Angela is everywhere in Nigeria. They're getting calls to come and perform, getting calls from YouTube. 
America, many parts of the world. We even had a call from Tanzania. You get it. Yeah. And, and it, it was awesome. You get it. Mm-hmm. People come from other places to just work on a feature with me. I have a song with a woman from Sierra Leone, all because of Angela. Wow. And it's because if 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 maybe they cross check on Google or something like that for the Stone Boy Shatawali, names like Farm Region, TD, Chelsons, and Promise will pop up. You get it. Okay. So I respect the leaders for doing that for us. Okay. And and what we started is something Ghanaian should really help and do so we can go on work. But the trend we we, we pick right now, the high life is so perfect because it is a beautiful song, uh, it's a beautiful genre of music that people should really concentrate on. Highlight is just a perfect. So people like myself, TV, Tim Thomas, what we started, we are we are just hoping that Ghanaians won't let us down right now. Okay. When we drop the song, you guys should listen, snap with them, and, and, and let the song be big as Angela is big right now. Mm. And we want to help the whole of Ghana because when we make the money, we spend it down here. And when we make the name, we carry Ghana across the world. Yeah. Don't let yourself down. Kwame Eugene, but who is your celebrity crush? Hey, you see, that's a problem. I've been telling that Ghanaian girl is so fun. The celebrity crush there. Uh-huh. In my own day, there are plenty small. So give me two. Or one, yes, just no. one. Let me just give you one. Uh, no, just one. <laughs> just one for me. Don't be smart. Just, just give me one. Okay, let me just give you one. Uh huh. Prisla. Prisla. I'm also fetch. Okay, why not? All right, so it confirms it for us. Come in, Eugene, and mm-hmm. take care. Thank you so much. It confirms it. We are right to say that you have something going on with our pepper tree, right? Oh, we are just invite, You, right, you, we here. Come in, Eugene. Enjoy okay. the rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining us here on the poll. You're welcome. We are grateful. Okay, Bye-bye. thank you. Bye. So you just heard uh, from Kwame Eugene there, uh, Daddy Bosco. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, one fine gentleman musician there we have uh, Kwame Eugen. You heard his song yeah. uh, Angela and uh, Fadama Boy. I think that talks about him. A number of them. Bang Bang and all that. Okay. So w- what do you think about about about, about um, him? Kwame Kwame is, the, is one of the guys who, who will be taking Ghana music forward and I okay. like what he's doing. What, what he did, which is pretty smart, is using high life with an Afropop touch to mm. it. And that's something that cuts across all age groups. Grown-ups love it. Kids love it. I mean, it's a party banger. Even when you're, in, in, when you're at home and you're listening to the radio, you still have it in. It's a great song that will go for and carry mm. far. Yeah. Another one is with Kiddy as well. I'm sure we'll get to, we'll get to hear them. But I understand I have Shatawale. Uh, on the line, uh, do we have Shatawale? I'm, I'm actually smiling from ear to ear <laughs> and uh, I'm blushing as well. Uh, SM for life. Do we have Shatawale? What's up? Hello, Shata. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I'm so My Christmas has just been made. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Are you? I hope you have a nice Christmas. I'm, 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 why won't I have a nice Christmas with Shatawale on the line? <laughs> wow. Shata, I want you so to good. do this one for me. The chill. How do you do it? The, the, the one you did in the taking over line. The chill you did. Do it for me. One. <laughs> <laughs> Shatawale, well, what's up yeah. for the Christmas? After meeting President Okufuadu, I'm sure your Christmas has been made. What's up? Well, I think it has been a um, uh, successful year, even though there have been some one or two hits here and there. But I, I believe um, that is how life is supposed to be when you believe in God and you believe in whatever you are doing. You know, I, I always tell my fans that um, I have a focus in life and I would want everyone to watch that focus. I'm not asking anybody to be like Shatta but mm-hmm. watch the direction and the way and man I'm doing things. And take the positive one out of it, and you know you you can also make it alive. Because I believe this year people are really going through the hustle and hustle, but God has been good. So I say we thank God. Mm. But there are those who ask: uh, Is Chatawale always that hard, hot-headed guy? Are, are you always rough? Is that the kind of person you are? <laughs> well, uh, I would say people who know me would always, you know, you know, attest the same thing. You know, I'm. I'm a normal person, mm-hmm. you know, that wants to live life in a happy way, more positively. 
But I believe when I get into my mood, mm -hmm. people always misunderstand me. You know, that's why I'm going to have a tattoo of me misunderstood. And I'm telling okay. you, to it, you know, but I feel um, people don't really get what entertainment is about, especially a career life and a personal life. Okay. You know, I have a career life. When I'm in my career mood, I, I believe people should just enjoy whatever is going on and see how it's going to end. And, you know, music is all about entertainment. Mm. Sometimes when I find people talking about, you know, me in a bad way, I go like, wow, so what would you say about Rambo, Commando? <laughs> you know, they don't know what movies. Yeah, they kill, they kill people in movies, but we don't see them as serial killers. Mm. Yes, so when I'm in my entertainment mode, people uh -huh. really accept that and watch what is going to happen, you know, because I, I like showbiz in a certain way that can keep our industry always kicking and we'll be laughing about it. Mm. But but overall, this year, how has mm. it been? You've been talking about it earlier, but for you as Shatawale and the kind of following you have, what mm. would be your assessment of your music uh, career for 2017 alone? How has it been? Well, I think it's been very tough. Mm. Uh, tough in a way uh, that I would say with uh, me being in the studio all day, because I would say this is the only year that I can really tell myself and the world that I have not really had a good clip at all. You haven't? You know? Yeah, because um, I think from last year, <coughs> excuse me, from December last year, mm -hmm. I was um, always in a studio, like not sleeping, up to this December. You know, and I think it's been a tough year for me, all because I, I told God, uh, you know, to guide me to, you know, really prove that point of him you know, making the world know that he sent to me as a messenger. So I was always in the studio praying, you know, trying to record. And that's how come, you know, I've got songs like Hosanna, Ayo, mm. you know, Taking Over, you know, and I, I felt happy about it because I really wanted to, you know, put things across for my fans, for them to know that we are safe. We are in a comfortable league. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting to hear Shatawale praying. You pray? Uh, yeah, you, you know, sometimes people have different perceptions about people, especially when they see it be a Rastaman. It's like when they are shitting him up, but they, there are many Rastaman who are like, you know, positive. You know, I know about Rastaman, uh, that is what's called. I like it so much. He doesn't like problem, but no friend of all. Yeah, you can be a Rasta guy, so he's one corner Rasta guy. You know, I like people like that. I feel people should really watch what comes out of me, what I do what comes out of me is how I behave, how things are going around me, as maybe, maybe I'm really, you know, putting up a certain behavior. You know, God is watching all of us, but people shouldn't just see me and see me like I'm a bad person, but they should just watch things around me, how my life is changing, how miraculous, you know, I talk about God, how I teach, you know, my fans, things I do, you know, people should really watch that side more, because that is God. And that is mm. where people are going to know that Shatawale is a very nice person. Okay. Well, Shatawale, but tell me, how did you manage to do a song, a whole track, with just three words? Shata, Wale, freedom. That's it. How? Yeah. Let me just tell you this thing and keep it in your pocket. Don't throw anybody. Are you there with um, your maybe some panelists? I'm alone. I'm alone. Just tell me. I'm alone. <laughs> All alone. <laughs> Thank you. Let me tell you. Let's, 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 even though it's live, let me talk to you like myself. Mm -hmm. It is said in the Bible, Psalm 32, verse 8, uh -huh. that I will instruct thee and teach thee the way you should go, and I shall guide you with my eyes. Read it from 32, verse 8. That's wow. how come. You know, I do stuff like that because, you know, I was actually just in the studio and I was like, I like this beat. Let me just do freedom, freedom, trust, and. Trust, and you know, I'm not marveled, you know, anywhere I step, like I've played shows in Zimba, anywhere I go to, people want to hear it, you know, I'm like, wow, I don't know how, how to reach the bomb, so uh -huh. lots of my fans, I'm learning a choreograph, so okay. I come and dance for people, for food to that, me so I can dance like Freddie Mary. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, it, it yeah. only takes favor uh, for you to do a song with three words it's and true. people are watching, you go on YouTube and it has so much viewership and all that, but this year, I'm sure you had a delay give you an advice about Shata Michi. Are we yeah, seeing well, a wedding in 2018? Yeah, you know, one thing I always tell people is that we are not in this world to favor anybody. Mm -hmm. You understand me? We are in this world to live a godly life, and I believe I'm living a godly life. Mm -hmm. um, where I started with Shata Michi from, 
and where we've got into. I think she has it in her mind that we are already married, even though our fam families know each other and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in trying to impress people that, okay, yeah, I've got a house, I'm doing a wedding, come and see what I've bought, come and see things. No, I'm an artist, I know how to play around my business, but when it comes to like my love life, I believe so far she's not pressuring me to marry her, mm -hmm. she wants to do business, I'm also advising her how we can go this life. I think she's happy and delay is my godmother, she's her godmother as well, because <laughs> we, when we quarrel sometimes, she comes and solve our problems and stuff for us, you know, and you know, most of the time, I tell her that, you know, I don't really want to try and do something because, you know, I feel okay, out okay, here, right now I'm getting money, you know, I, I have not gotten anywhere which God knows, but God is still pushing us to get to the level He wants us to get to. So I believe marriage will only come when my woman is ready, because she's never pressured me like, you know, I want, you know, want us to marry, baby, buy me a ring. She's not the type of woman, you know, and I love it because she's always like, you know, checking whatever I'm doing in my work, you know, how I move out, things I do and stuff like that. So she supports everything I do too. So I believe, um, God's time is the best, and I believe we're going to have that thing. And I'm going to invite you. We are going to be the MC. I, 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 can, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. But Shata, this, this year, we saw you in some serious beef. I don't know if you are a vegetarian, but you were in some, some serious beef uh, this year with the whiskey. Is it a beef that you've dropped? Uh, is it okay? What's going on? Um, well, that's what I'm saying, you know. Uh, it's like the movie just started and you know commando just got to the action field you understand <laughs> so kill show yeah kill a show you know what i'm starting to think that there's an industry where there are a lot of opportunities and mm -hmm. i'm grabbing most of the opportunities that's why sometimes i take time to speak about ghana music industry and talk about ghanaian artists you understand because mm -hmm. i believe you know there is a lot that Maybe they have not seen. I've been underground since Bandana Day for 10 yeah. years. And I came out and I've seen things that most of them were weren't seen. And that is what I'm taking advantage of right now. And still, I believe they are not seeing it. But, you know, when you see me with a beef, like me, in a beef with, like maybe whiskey, mm -hmm. I'm not beefing with whiskey. I'm just doing business. Just imagine that you have a fight that, you know, you go and you know, take for maybe um, this um, mining stuff and stuff like that. You go mm -hmm. excavating your stuff. And you find out that, oh, the fact that I can take and get more gold because I see this land is also fertile. Why don't I go there? Even though it's dangerous, they are snakes, they are lions, they are crocodiles. Then you have mm -hmm. to try and go to. What I'm just saying is that people have made that perception or it made it look like Nigerians are always on top of us. Yeah. And I went on radio just to explain something. And Whiskey's fans took, you know, I don't know how they saw it. And mm. They just started insulting me. I was like, wow, this is an opportunity for me to enter Nigeria. Mm -hmm. For them to know that, no, this is a no nonsense man. Wow, I like this opportunity. Wow. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Shata Wali. That's wow. what I did. You <laughs> so know, it was showbiz for you as well. It, it, it was business for you as well. Yeah, it was business. Mm. Even though people would see like, hey, Nigerians, put a boy on. Am I fighting? Uh -huh. I won't go and fight in Nigeria. Okay. If you come and you come and put people on me to fight, I'll kneel down and beg them. That's how I beg you, please. <laughs> I will beg you. I will talk, you know, because, yeah, I'm, a, I'm the type of guy that wants people to see that I am real. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I don't hate whiskey. He's a good artist. I believe um, Ghanaians love him. We all love him. But, you know, sometimes when it gets to the stream that you see, like, stuff like, oh, People are insulting, you know, Ghanaian artists and stuff like Nigerian, you know, who do you think? Somebody is lying, but it's okay. not war. But you have mm -hmm. to take advantage of it and push it. So I think that's why I did it. You know, people saw it like whiskey at least, but I think I like it. I'm, I'm going to do some next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you would say it paid off, right? It paid off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really paid off. Because okay. I think I've gotten some nominations from Nigeria. <laughs> okay. uh, my videos are being aired all over. I hear most of their talk shows. Anytime I'm in Shatawali, that guy, we're good. Mm. You know, uh, yeah, I like it. That is, that is my work. Okay. Even though it's, some of my teeth will be dangerous, but I'll say music is entertainment, you know. Okay. So as we enter 2018, God willing, should we <coughs> expect a collaboration with you and Samini? I heard you were talked about it earlier. Is it going to happen? Well, um, me and Samini are talking, uh, we have a plan. Mm, you you know, have a plan? That, that, that plan will also come up when people wouldn't be ready, like when people are unaware. Because 
we, we don't want to do things for Ghana it's not out yet but we want to really surprise Ghana in a whole you know, because people know Samini all over the world and to um, some places it's gone to it has made our name like Sasawale so important you know a couple of dance artists you know we've gotten that recognition there so I believe what we have is a serious plan Ghana to what our family and that will be in 2018. First quarter, second quarter, uh, no, third quarter. No, I will tell you. I will tell you. No, tell me. I told you nobody's listening to us. It's just you and I. Tell me. Oh, so you're your best room, actually. Wow, I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> tell me. First quarter, second um, quarter, third quarter. W w when would it be? Don't worry. When, when, I'm, when I'm ready, I'll let you know first. Okay. We don't even want to. You know, let anybody know the location, what we're going to record, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We want to make it exclusive for, you know, the media, because the media is also trying. You guys are really trying a lot for us. Yes, we are. People support us, and, you know, we really want to make your work also look good. So don't worry, I'll tell you what I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sure uh, before before that collaboration, should we expect something else uh, from Shata, maybe now with the four words or, or more? Yeah, for now, I'm, I'm really working on my. Um, new um, talents that I've got. That is my militants, you know. Okay. I'm trying to grow more militants and, you know, get them to the commercial side of, you know, music. And, you know, I'm, I'm still doing it. So next year, it's going to be more about the militants. You know, I'm going to feature some of their songs, maybe some chords for them. And, you know, because I'll be doing them out of the country and I'll be, you know, doing a couple of businesses too. Because I have some businesses that I started two years ago that I really want um, next year to be like uh, a year for me to really watch that side of uh, my, my, my life. So um, apart from my music life, you know, uh, I'm also going to have a different you know, business life that I'm also going to be you know, looking at. So but it's going to be more about, you know, my militants, you know, I have some females that I'm trying to bring out next year. So okay. it's going to be a great year. Okay, we look forward to it. But Shatawale, you just won me over, but I can't let you go without doing a line for me and for Paul. The name is MFA and it's Paul. So do a line for us before you leave, Shata. MFI, MFI and what? And Pulse. It's a Pulse. The program is Pulse. Pulse, Pulse. of the Nation. Yes, it's Pulse. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So it's Christmas now. And I just want to say a Merry Christmas to everybody that is enjoying this program. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just want to wish everybody a long life. You know, next year by this time, I believe every dream that we want will come to. All right. So listen. Well, Shata Wale, them say I'm got no money. MFA say she loves Shata. Boss, <laughs> we always got her. In a Ghana, them know we got the banner. <laughs> Shata Wale are the father. <laughs> Shata, I, I'm going to sell this. Thank you so much, Shata Wale. Thank you very Thank much. You. Baby, it's right. a very interesting conversation. Right. Thank you so much. You just right. heard Shata Wale. Uh, he just won me over. I'm sure, SM for life sure. now. <laughs> I told you he's found the nectar. He's found the nectar. And so he's a smart kid. He knows when to lay low. He knows when to strike. You remember he said his, his thing with WizKid was strategic. Mm -hmm. He wanted to enter the Nigerian market. How do you um, enter the Nigerian market? Attack the biggest dog. Okay. And everybody comes after you. That's one of the smartest kids we've got. I and I'm sure that, like he said, over the next two to three years, I mean, he's going to be on top. And, and he's, been, he's been on top for, for, let's say, last year, this year, and it's going on in 2018, sure. and it looks like he has a plan. He's entering no, business see, and all that. The thing is, music, you need to find the nectar. Once you find the nectar, mm -hmm. you can serve it. Okay. As long as you have the nectar, people mm. will come to your shop. Okay. And he's got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, so it looks like uh, we, we need to hear from one artist also, Hughes ODG, and he's selling Ghana internationally. Yeah. I'm sure you've, you've seen the one well. with Ed Sheeran. Yeah, let's let's sure. watch it quickly and come back.
Sharing and that's a big artist there uh, doing it with Fuse ODG. This is not the first time, I think he's done with White Cliff John and yeah. now he's doing it with Ed Sheeran and Buame. You should see the challenge on Instagram, social media. You see everybody wanting sure. to sing Buame. Music, for instance, such musicians, what help do you give? How are you bringing them on board to be able to, you know, sell Ghana music? Because on his own, he's doing this. Okay, what it is is. Um the union has actually gone to meet um, Fuse. Okay. We also met with Kill Beats, who was responsible for the rhythm. Oh, wow. And actually, for that work, Kill Beats has received an award mm -hmm. from the UK. Because that, that song has gone on to over a thousand, a million, uh, what you call it, units sold. So basically, what the union is doing is we're providing them with that support to make them know that they're fully appreciated at home. Um, coin, or incidentally, a lot of them did a lot of this work on their own. So what we're doing as a union is we're looking into the future. We've identified about 150 young ones across the country and we're grooming them. We're providing them with um, coaching and mentorship. And periodically we arrange sessions with um, some of the guys who have gone ahead and done good stuff. Um, Reggie's um, interacted with these young ones, um, people like Bessie Simons, um, the pastor, no? Sonny Badu. Okay. You know, so that's what we're doing because we realize that a lot of these guys have talent, but they need coaching and they need mentorship. Mm. So that's what we've, we set up with the and future the project. And providing that. Yes, it's, mm. we call it the future project. And we're launching it tomorrow at the um, State House Banquet Hall when we do the presidential grand ball. Okay. And His Excellency President Nanadi Dankwa Kufuadu will do the launching. So tomorrow is launching the future project mm. and um, a fund, an okay. endowment fund for the aging musicians that we're working with right now. Where's that money coming from? Where, how are we funding that project? Okay, so what we're doing is tomorrow when the president launches it, we will appeal to the captains of industry who will okay. be gathered there. Tomorrow's event is also a fundraiser. Mm. So part of um, those funds that will be raised will go into the endowment fund. Mm -hmm. And we have a board that is supervising the grand ball. Um, it's headed by Hassan Tampoli, okay. you know, so we have some astute brains yeah, yeah, who okay. are actually shepherding the whole process here. Yeah. Mm. So 2018, what does it look like for music? You know, people have questioned the leadership, especially the president, or uh, you've heard musicians criticize his leadership amongst others. Uh, 2018, how is it going to look like for music? Well, 2018, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to um, work hard to bring as many musicians into the fold. Mm. One of the unfortunate things, and we realize that, is that a lot of people do not actually know what the union is supposed to be doing, mm. and they're always um, expecting us to do the work of um, institutions like GAMRO. Okay. So we'll go out there and we'll be explaining what the union is actually supposed to be doing and how we can be working with them better to ensure that what you call it the industry grows and individually musicians are able to earn what they're due okay yeah. we'll see how it goes so tomorrow of course we'll be there to lend our support uh, to music of course invited. we are we're always partners in sure. this daddy Bosco, thank you very much it's a pleasure uh, it's a pleasure it, 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 but I, I'm, I'm also told that uh, later on we'll be getting a poll on who's made the most impact yeah. uh, for this year for musicians. I'm sure you'd okay. want to watch out for that. Definitely. Uh, we'll be bringing that uh, shortly. Okay. But